Joining me now to give his analysis of the hearing so far is Congressman Dan Bishop, who is a member of the House Judiciary Committee. He's also a member of the Homeland Security Committee. He represents the 9th Congressional District of North Carolina. Congressman Bishop, welcome back to the program. Thank you, Tony. I'm so glad to be back with you. Well, there's a few things we've found out so far that the the uh, nominee does not know, um, doesn't, doesn't know when life begins. And uh, let me play a clip from... Senator Marsha Blackburn asked a pretty straightforward question. Uh, play clip number two, please. Can you provide a definition for the word woman? Can I provide a definition? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. I can't. You can't? N not in okay. this context. So I'm not a biologist. Of so, Congressman Bishop, what do you make of that? Wow, Tony, I, you know, it, I've seen enough. Uh, it really, it does, how many questions do you need answered like that? Uh, you, there was also the interaction with Senator Cotton over uh, her, her great empathy for uh, child sexual predators. Uh, the people are spreading uh, pornographic poison uh, in the, of the gross, most gross kind on the Internet. She, she seems to be, uh, have sympathy for that kind of person. Uh, you know, this is someone who, who should not be anywhere near the United States Supreme Court. I cannot conceive of any member of Congress, any, any member of the Senate that would vote to confirm her to that position. So I'm, I'm astonished. I think all Americans are. But this is kind of where we are in the country, Tony. And, and it is alarming. And just so there was fairness here. Uh, Senator Cruz gave her a second bite at the apple, so to speak, on this issue of can you define a woman, which is, you know, quite frankly, to me, pretty easy. Uh, play clip number five. You told her that that you couldn't define what a woman is, uh, that you were not a biologist, which which I think you're the the only Supreme Court nominee in history who's been unable to answer the question, what is a woman? It, th this is pretty basic. If you can't define woman, um, and, and I guess I could say, you know, she doesn't want to answer the question on when does life begin. She could put out some answer, but she didn't say anything on that. Um, I mean, where have, where's our legal system gone to if we can't have judges that can define what a woman is? It, it is where the woke left wants to take our judicial system, Tony. It's in fact with the the advertisement before your program began for FRC. Uh, it, you know, makes the point that there's that the very essence, the very existence of truth is what is under attack in the postmodernist, uh, uh, cultural Marxist kind of system that the left is uh, currently uh, pursuing. And she's an exponent of that. She's an articulator or, a, or a, she holds those views. And it just shows how extreme it is. You can't, I mean, as you say, perhaps she would say is a, it would be inappropriate for me to articulate a view on the factual question of when life begins, because that question may come before the United States Supreme Court at some point. But if there's no, is there, is there no fact which is self-evident anymore? I mean, we, we always had in the law, as I practiced it, the notion of judicial notice. The court could take notice, didn't have to have evidence and try to prove a fact that everyone knows that is commonly accepted. And that, and if you can't say what a woman is, and indeed with the transgender ideology uh, gripping the left and trying to be, in, 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 which they intend to force on everyone else in the nation, they can't say what a woman is. So, Congressman Bishop, the, the the Senate has 50 Democrats in the vice president. So the confirmation is really not in question um, if all the Democrats who seem to walk in lockstep uh, most of the time, although I, I do have to give uh, a shout out. Uh, you know, occasionally there is a Democrat who will break, uh, break ranks, uh, Joe Manchin being one of them. Um, but what should the American people take away from this? I mean, they're expecting the confirmation in, uh, before Easter for her to, uh, to to go on to the bench. What should the American people take away from this episode? It, first of all, they ought to be concerned about what the American left is doing. What has the Democratic Party become? Um, why would Joseph, Joe Biden, the president of the United States, appoint someone with these radical views? Where have they gotten to be? That's important to know. 
And yes, as you say, we count to 50 and they've got the vice president that could make it 51. But what, what frankly, I think uh, American Republican voters are going to have to watch and see whether Republican senators uh, are inclined to support her. Who will they be? Will it be Mitt Romney or uh, Susan Collins or, or Murkowski or who? Uh, I was pleased to see Senator Graham, Lindsey Graham. He's he's kind of got a habit of saying, you know, I, I think uh, uh, a Democratic president needs to be able to pick someone of the judicial philosophy he supports and uh, if they got a good record. I'll support them. He's voted for, uh, I think he voted for Elena Kagan and and for maybe for Sotomayor, I believe. But uh, but th- this is there no is there no field too far? I, I just can't conceive of someone who has those views uh, being confirmed by any Republican senator uh, to the to the highest court in the land. Certainly hope not. Yes, and uh, as you pointed to where the Democratic Party has gone, this is a clear contrast between the ideology of the two major parties in this country, and it also speaks to the fact that uh, elections have significant and long-lasting consequences, uh, as we see here with the Supreme Court. Congressman Bishop, we're out of time, but I want to thank you for joining us. Always great to talk with you. Thanks so much for uh, joining us today on Washington Watch. Thank you, Tony. I appreciate the time.